Hi guys, Mimi G here. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am going to be making something that I have been needing in my kitchen for a really long time. I'm gonna make myself an apron. I'm more specifically a chef's apron. So I have been wanting to make all of my own oven mitts and my own napkins and my own aprons because you guys know that um, I've been sharing a lot more uh, about cooking and sort of recipes, even cooking with my mom, which you guys all loved. So thank you so much. <laughs> um, and because of that, every time that I go try to find an apron that I like or something, it's either too boring um, or it's too frilly, right? There's like ruffles and I don't know. It's just, I can't seem to find something that I really like. So generally when I go look for oven pads or oven mitts or whatever, I can't seem to find what I want in that either. So I thought, well, you know what? I could just go find the fabrics that I want and make them myself. So I think over the next, I don't know, however long, I'm going to be adding a little bit more of like, I guess, home DIY. So I will be making my own linen napkins and some oven pads and mitts. But today I'm going to be making a chef's apron, which means there's no frills, uh, there's no ruffles, <laughs> there's nothing too girly, um, but it is very cool. And you can make it out of a lot of fabrics, cotton, linen, even denim. I see a lot of denim chef aprons all the time, which I really love. You can even add a little bit of leather, which makes it really cool. Um, but today I'm going to keep it pretty basic. I did find this really cool um, home decor fabric at Joann's that I love. So that's what I'm going to be using. And we're going to draft a really simple pattern that you guys can make at home and then use it to make more and more uh, aprons, especially because it makes a really good gift. So we're nearing the holidays and an apron, especially if you have an embroidery machine and you can add their name to it, would make a really wonderful gift. All right, guys, let's get started. All right, guys, let's make an apron. So let's go over what you're going to need. Um, I went ahead and made this little printable for you guys. You can use it. Um, it's basically just the measurements that we're going to do, but we're going to be um, actually doing this in half measurements. But I thought this is sort of really handy for you to have if you want to do this over and over again. Also, um, for fabrics, you know, it's an apron, so you can use a whole lot of things. You can use any cotton. You can use linen. Um, a medium weight linen would be really great. Um, this is actually just a twill that I got from Joann Fabrics in the home decor uh, department, which is really nice. It has a good amount of weight. Um, it's not as stiff as canvas. Um, it has, you know, a, a little bit more movement, but it's heavier than like, let's say your quilting cotton. So uh, quilting, cotton, uh, quilting cottons are also really great because, you know, they come in a whole lot of fun prints and patterns. And so you can sort of do whatever you want. Um, that is really just up to you. You're also going to need some webbing. So for the webbing, this is a quarter, an inch and a quarter wide. Uh, if you're using an inch wide webbing, that's fine too. This is cotton, so this is not the plastic one. Um, you can also find this either on Amazon, I'll link to it, um, or uh, Joann's does carry this, although they didn't have the one inch um, in the cotton. They only had the one inch in the plastic webbing, and I'm not a big fan of that. So you're going to need about three yards to be safe. Um, you're also going to need about a yard and a half for the apron. Um, and then obviously you're going to need a ruler. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to make the apron pattern right onto paper so you can cut it and use it over and over again. Um, but feel free to draw this directly onto your fabric if you want to. So now that we know everything that we need, we're going to go ahead and start making our pattern. Okay, so I have my piece of paper. I'm going to be using a Sharpie so you guys can see my lines and I have my yardstick. So um, this is the entire uh, pattern, right? So the... The measurement for the width, the total width of our apron is 28 inches, okay? Now, the height of the pattern is going to be 35 inches, but you can make this as long or as short as you want to, to be quite honest. So these are just the measurements that work for me. Um, so because we're working in a half measurement, meaning that we're going to use the edge of my paper as the center front, so this would be the center, right, of my pattern, the half measurement from the center out is 14 inches if the entire width is 28. So that's the measurement I'm going to be using. I don't want to confuse you guys. So that's the first measurement that I'm going to mark out is the 14 inches. Again, this um, edge of my paper is going to serve as the center front of my pattern. And we're going to be cutting this on the fold of our fabric. So I'm going to be measuring out 14 inches. And then I'm going to measure up 
35 inches from the bottom of my paper because I cut a straight line. And then I'm going to mark across the top another 14 inches. So we're just creating a rectangle. Okay, now that we have our rectangle, we're going to go ahead and measure up from the bottom up 20 inch, 22 inches. So I'm going to measure up 22 inches and I'm going to make a little line. From the top down at that same marking, you should be at 13 inches. So that's where we're going to create our diagonal. Now across the top of our pattern, if you notice on your printable, it says 13 inches. So we need to half that measurement. So from the center, I'm going to measure out six and a half inches and I'm going to make a little line. And then I want you to measure down from there one inch. Make a line. Now we're going to go ahead and make a line from this point here to this point here. Okay, now what we're going to do is you're going to make a couple of markings so that you remember sort of what you're doing. You can go ahead and close out this one inch. This is going to be the hem allowance for the top of your apron. So that's one inch. And this is the center front of your apron and it's going to be cut on the fold. So I want you to mark fold so you don't forget. Okay, and if you have a one inch, if you have one and a quarter inch wide webbing the way that I do, the hem allowance for here for the diagonal line is going to be one and a half inches. If you're using one inch webbing, it's going to be one and a quarter inch. When we get to the sewing, I'll remind you of that. But if you want to mark it now, you can, or you can leave it the way that it is without nothing, because if you make it again and you're using a different uh, width for your webbing, that will change, right? So if you're using one and a quarter inch, you're going to do one and a half inch wide allowance. If you're doing one inch webbing, you're going to use one and a quarter inch wide. And then the rest of your seam allowances are one inch. So the fold over is one inch and the bottom hem allowance is also one inch. Now the pocket you could just cut on your own. The pocket is going to be 28 inches wide. It's the same exact width of your apron. It's going to be 12 inches tall. So you're going to cut a piece of fabric that's 28 by 12. You can cut this out of the same fabric or you can cut it out of a contrasting color fabric. That would be cool too. So now that you have your apron, go ahead and draft your pocket and we're going to go ahead and cut this out. Okay. So I went ahead and cut my pattern, right? And I also went ahead and cut out my pocket. So it's 28 inches by 12 inches high. Now we can go ahead and cut our fabric because we only did a half measurement of our pattern. We're going to be cutting it on the fold. So I folded my fabric in half. Selvage edges are meeting. You're going to place your pattern onto your fabric, making sure that the fold line of your pattern piece is up against the fold line of your fabric and you're going to cut around it. Then you're going to place your pocket piece on. Remember, you're only cutting one layer of this. And you're going to cut your pocket pattern out of the same fabric or out of your contrasting fabric. Okay, so I went ahead and surged around my entire apron. I also surged around my pocket. Um, I was going to mention that you can make a second pocket if you want for like the top of your apron. This one is cut 10 by seven and a half. So if you want to, I mean, you can add however many pockets you want to this thing, right? Um, the other thing I want you to go ahead and do is to press in your seam allowances um, or your hem allowances. So for my pocket, the bottom of the pocket has a half inch allowance. For the top of my pocket, I folded and pressed one inch. And remember that on your apron, you have one inch at the top, one inch at the bottom, and then you're also going to have one inch on the sides. This is dependent on your webbing. So it's either going to be folded one and a quarter or one and a half. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place our pocket. So I'm going to turn my apron over so you guys can see. 
So the first pocket we're gonna place is the big pocket. It goes across your entire apron and the sides are gonna be sewn and turned in together. I cut mine, as you can see, um, horizontal lines and vertical lines just for interest. Okay, so first we're gonna um, prepare our pocket to then place it onto our apron. We're gonna be placing this pocket three inches down from this little corner here. So before you do that, I want you to head to your sewing machine. We're going to finish off the top. So I want you to press under your one inch. You're going to head to your sewing machine and you're just going to stitch that down all the way across. Okay, I stitched the top of my pocket so it's nice and clean. Now we're gonna go ahead and place it, like I said, three inches down from this edge here. And go ahead and pin. We're gonna baste the sides together because like I said, we're gonna turn this whole allowance in at one time, but we just need to baste it in place and stitch down the bottom of the pocket. Okay, while you have it pinned, you're gonna head over to your sewing machine and you're just going to stitch along the edge. You're going to stitch the bottom of your pocket right onto your apron. You're also going to baste the sides using half inch seam allowance. So you're just going to stitch across both sides and stitch the bottom. If you made a second pocket and you wanna attach it, I would suggest um, folding and pinning it down now so that you can do it all at one time. So I've already folded and stitched the top of my pocket. You're gonna turn on each side a half inch and a half inch, and then of course you have the half inch at the bottom. Place it wherever you're going to place it. Mine is about four inches from the very top of my apron and then just centered. And then you're just going to stitch along the sides and along the bottom. All right, so for working on our big pocket first, we're gonna go ahead and just base these together along the side. And now we're gonna go ahead, pivot, and we're going to sew the bottom of our pocket right onto our apron, just along the edge. Okay, go ahead and pivot and baste your other side the same way. Okay, now we're gonna go ahead and create some lines for our pockets, right? So you want different size pockets. The first one I'm gonna do is right along the center. So I'm gonna use my chalk roller. This just washes off. You can also use a fabric marker if you have one that also disappears either with water or air. I'm gonna make a line just so I have a guide. We're gonna be stitching through all thicknesses. So from the center line, I'm gonna measure out, I don't know, like, Let's see, let's do four inches. So I'm gonna make a mark and I'm gonna measure and mark up four inches. Then I'll do two inches and then maybe three inches. And then just mark the same lines on the other side of your apron. That way you have different size pockets. And then for the top, if you added a pocket, you're gonna do the same thing. So I'm gonna do a center one first. And then I'm just gonna do two inches on either side. Now you're gonna go through your sewing machine and following your stitching lines, your marking lines, you're just going to stitch through all thicknesses to create all the different various size pockets. Okay guys, now that you have your pockets all sewn down, now all we need to do is finish off the top, bottom, and side allowances and then turn under our diagonal line. So you're just going to press one inch at the top, you're going to stitch across. You're gonna do the same thing for the bottom, you're going to press one inch and you're going to stitch then after you do that, we'll go ahead and do our sides and our diagonal. 
All right, so we stitched down the top of our apron and the hem of our apron, and now I went ahead and pressed one inch on both sides and pinned. Now, if you're using a heavier fabric like I am, you might wanna to switch to a denim needle just so you could get through like the thick area where the pocket is. Um, if you're using a quilting cotton or something lightweight, then you should be fine. So I went ahead and pinned both sides. You're gonna go ahead to your sewing machine and you're going to stitch along both sides. All right, guys, you have your sides down. The only thing left for us to do is the diagonal. This is where our webbing is gonna go through, up over your neck, and then down the other side, okay? So you're going to just turn under however much you need. Remember that if you're using one inch webbing, you're just gonna turn under one and a quarter. I'm using webbing that is one and a quarter inch wide, so I need to press and turn an inch and a half. Press that, pin it, and then you're going to go ahead and stitch. All right, the last thing for you to do is to go ahead and put your webbing through the side casings and around your neck. I wouldn't cut um, just yet. Just uh, tie it around your body after you do this to make sure. Make sure your webbing is laying flat. Okay, now you're just gonna leave a little bit and then you're going to take your safety pin and go down the other side. Okay, you're gonna go ahead and make sure that your webbing is nice and flat. So if you just need to turn it, just turn it as you're going. And then you want to make sure that the ends are even. Try this on, tie it. See if you need to pull a little bit more. This is always adjustable depending on your mood. You can let it out more if you want it lower on your chest or pull it more if you want it higher up on your chest. Once you have your webbing sifted through, you're just gonna turn under the ends of your webbing. You're gonna turn once, turn twice, and then stitch along the edge just so that you can hide your raw edge so it doesn't unravel on you. And that's it, you're all done. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and I hope you're excited to make yourself an apron. If you do and post it, please tag me on Instagram at Mimiji Style. Until next time, peace.